Hey everyone, welcome to Sync Apps. This is Nathan, and today we are going to talk about one of the most popular features here in Sync Apps, the campaign response feature. Let's see how it works and how this feature can help you and your team close more business today. So what is the campaign response feature? Campaign response is simply a cool feature that allows you to monitor your marketing metrics in real time across all your integrated software. Basically, what this means is you can bring back your campaign metrics to CRM from your marketing automation solutions such as opens, clicks, bounces, and even the clicked URLs so you'll get insights from both software in a single place. And why is it important to see this data in CRM? Well, this could really be a key for your team to access those data straight from the CRM, like Salesforce where your sales team leaves and help them close more business. They will also love you as it can avoid the tedious work of manually exporting those data from your marketing automation solutions where your marketing team leaves. This has been a key feature for Peak15 Systems, which is a software company that caters to travelers through their app. Their clients use it to drive more sales daily. The campaign response feature is one of the top reasons why thousands of Salesforce users choose us and a fast-growing number of consultancies subscribe to Sync Apps to manage their clients. So, to add this feature to your new or existing integration, let's take a look at our top integration today that offer this feature. This feature is always in step one of the Sync profile, so you can easily see the feature to choose which type of marketing metrics you want to see in CRM. Let's take a look at Salesforce example real quick. So what I did here is I've created a specific campaign in Salesforce because I don't like to sync all of my contacts from Salesforce into MailChimp. So I just created a campaign here. I named it 2020 Autumn Campaign. And then I just placed a handful of records. Yeah, five contacts. There we go. And in Sync Apps, I created a sync profile, which is basically an integration setup. And I named it Salesforce for MailChimp. Uh, we are today integrating Salesforce with MailChimp, which is, we know, that one of the uh, top marketing automation software out there and together with Constant Contact and Clavio and many others. Now, let's go to the edit mode here, the sync profile. This is all set up, by the way, but just to show you the features that I've enabled. So in step one, I have authenticated, of course, my Salesforce account. I selected contacts to sync. And then sync from Salesforce to MailChimp. We have here a feature called Wanna Use a Campaign or Marketing List. Basically, this is the list sync feature. And when I click Browse Campaigns, I selected that specific campaign that I created in Salesforce, meaning only the records inside that campaign will be synced into MailChimp and they will be on one group. You can also use uh, tags as, as segmentation method but uh, on this case I use campaigns. Let's close it out and then on the second part here I will enable the feature that we're talking about today the campaign response feature. This is guys the uh, golden button for that feature. Want to track the marketing metrics such as opens, clicks, bounces back to Salesforce from your MailChimp campaigns. So I selected that feature and there are a few methods or modes on how we sync back those campaign metrics from MailChimp to Salesforce. We can create Salesforce campaign. So we will grab the same name of the campaign from MailChimp and recreate that as a new campaign in Salesforce together with the campaign members and the metrics. Uh, that's uh, one of the typical use cases here. Uh, we can also create activity, create Salesforce campaign plus activity, create uh, just or sync it to the contact or lead notes or just bring back the marketing metrics only, which means that we will create the campaign without the campaign numbers. But in this case, I would love to show you how uh, the third option works. So uh, let's choose create Salesforce campaign plus activity. I am also syncing the uh, clicked URL so we can see uh, the, the links, the actual links that they click on the email campaigns. Create task with completed status, I would love that, and create task as well for send events. And that's it for step one, and let's go to the step two here. Basically, I just put in the MailChimp audience here. So this is the audience where we will sync all of the records 
that I want to sync from Salesforce and also of course the API key. And then I am using MailChimp Group. So that's uh, actually, those are the two important parts of, of the sync profile. And then these other options here are basically just optional. And you can watch out for our next videos for these other features like field mapping and filtering and segmentation. Now, when I ran the sync, what happened is that, let's go to our MailChimp here now. So if we'll go to manage contacts and groups, we will see the group title inside that, uh, that step two feature that I just enabled. So it says here, my Salesforce contact groups. And then if I click view groups, that's the name of the campaign that we're syncing from Salesforce, 2020 autumn campaign. We got those contacts there. One is opted out, that's why it's not here. So, But again, in, uh, I mean, those records are already here in MailChimp, so I have, of course, ran the campaign um, and then rerun the sync. So after that, you'll see it here, we'll go back. Let's go to uh, my active campaigns, that's right. So you will see here that a new campaign here was created, 2020 September 18, welcome to Autumn conference message. That is the exact same campaign that I have um, ran into MailChimp for all those contacts. See this here, there you go. So we got four opens and three clicks. So that was created as a new campaign in Salesforce, right? And if we'll click that, we will see the, uh, the attachment here. Uh, we got HTML and also uh, the, uh, the, the Salesforce uh, type of, field, uh, of, of, of attachment, which is for lightning versions in Salesforce. And you will see the members here. And on the right side, it will give you all the activities. So Melvin has opened it. Um, also the email tasks are created, opened and clicked. And then it's on a campaign level, yes, but also on a contact level. So if we'll go on the contacts, let's see uh, Paul, right? Let's open Paul and there you go. So you can see the, uh, it, it is part of the uh, 2020 autumn campaign and also the new campaign that we've created. So at least as a salesperson, you know that he received this campaign from MailChimp. And also on the right side, you will see that he clicked on a specific email. And uh, for us to see that, it's on the description under that task. So the description will give you the URL on the right side, right? So as a salesperson, it's really, uh, it's really a key feature and an important um, feature to, to know those data. Um, and as a salesperson, I believe uh, I'm not, you know, going into marketing automation such as MailChimp that often and I am leaving in Salesforce, right? So if I am going to hop on a call with a client or maybe a potential lead or a contact, definitely those data that I'm seeing right now here, oh, he opened this email, oh, he received it, oh, he clicked on this link. Those are very key data as a salesperson to be more effective when I talk to our clients. And that's uh, where campaign response is very important, guys. And we are very proud that we have this feature in Sync Apps because thousands, again, thousands of Salesforce users are now coming into Sync Apps and signing up. Also, our consultants are signing up to Sync Apps to manage their clients because this is a very great and key feature for, uh, for businesses like us and yours. So that's it for this video, and I hope you learned something new about Sync Apps. Don't forget to share this with your team. And if you want to share your feedback or ask any questions about Sync Apps, our team is 24-7 online at support at Again, this is Nathan. Thank you for your time. Have a good one.